What's up everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I will investigate popping popcorn with this side up as specified, versus popping it upside down, versus popping it upside down still folded. Does it really matter if it's popped upside down or upside down still folded? To begin, here's the popcorn, Oroville Redenbacher's Gourmet Popping Corn, Movie Theater Butter. I got a premium brand, so the results will be reliable and consistent. Next, let's open this box and unwrap a bag of popcorn. It is boldly specified that this side goes up and this side goes down. And reading the instructions, step one, do not use the popcorn button. And it specifies this side up, but we'll see about that. It should take about one and a half to two and a half minutes on high. Step two, watch and listen and stop when the popping slows. And step three, open the bag and enjoy your popcorn. And this is a six pack. So I will do three right side up and three upside down for a better pool of results. And later I got a second box to pop them upside down, still folded. For all of these bags, I will measure the cook time, the volume of popped popcorn, the number of unpopped kernels, and compare the look, smell, and taste. I will show all of the results in tables and graphs at the end of the video. The first step is to thoroughly clean my microwave so it looks good in the video, and so you won't see spaghetti sauce from last year splattered all over the place. So let's start popping. First is right side up. I set the microwave timer for 10 minutes, but it won't pop that long. I will manually stop it when the popping slows down as specified in the instructions. So there's the first bag complete and there's eight minutes and two seconds left on the timer, which means it popped for one minute and 58 seconds. Now let's ram through the rest of these. I don't think you want to spend 18 minutes watching popcorn pop. So I'm going to speed through these. That's the second bag finishing up, and this is the third bag. That finishes right side up with nothing special to report. Next, I pop three bags upside down unfolded. All three pop the same with nothing crazy to report. They appear just as full as the right side up bags, but they did take a little bit longer to finish popping. And last is the upside down still folded. The results surprised me. While popping, all three bags unfolded themselves and flipped over with the correct side facing up. I didn't expect that. They also took a little bit longer than the right side up bags to finish popping. And here are all of the popped bags. These are the right side up bags. These are the upside down bags. And these are the folded upside down bags. They all appear to have the same amount of fullness. Here's an up close of the regular bag. Here's the upside down bag. It clearly has some kind of pad inside of it that's probably intended to be on the bottom. And here's the upside down folded bag, which turned itself around and is in the same orientation as the right side up bag. Let's cut one of these open and take a quick look at that pad at the bottom. It was surprisingly easy to cut through, and there's a solid mixture of butter and kernels distributed over the center square. Let's scrape some of that away to reveal the bottom pad. It's not significantly thicker than the rest of the bag. I can't tell a difference in thickness by feel. I can easily see my finger through the rest of the bag, but I can't see it as easily through the padded area. The inside surface of the bag also feels the same in the non-padded and the padded area. The pad is called a susceptor, and it's a thin material that absorbs microwaves and heats up the kernels. You do want the kernels and butter to be on the pad. Next, I will measure the volume of popped popcorn in each bag and count the number of popcorn seeds that did not pop. Emptying the bag of popcorn into this big bowl and shaking the bowl drops all of the seeds to the bottom. I put all of the popped popcorn into this container and I'm left with just the seeds so I can count them. And the volume of the popped popcorn is calculated with some easy math. Since it's a cylinder, I just need the inner diameter of the pitcher and the height of the popcorn. So I did this and recorded the measurements for all nine bags of popcorn, and I kept a sample of each popping method along the way to compare them side by side. I will show data tables of all of the measured results at the end of the video. Now let's do the final visual, smell, and taste tests. So here we go. We have the correct side up, upside down unfolded, and upside down folded. Visually, they all look exactly the same to me. I don't see any difference between the way they look. And smelling them, they also smell the same. None of them smell more or less buttery than the others. And none of them smell burnt or anything like that. They all smell the same, and they all smell good. And last is the taste. Overall, they tasted about the same to me. But I think there was one small difference. The first one, correct side up and the last one, upside down folded, tasted exactly the same to me. There was no difference. But the middle one, upside down unfolded, may have been a little less buttery, 
When I closed my eyes and put all of my focus into tasting the samples, I thought the middle batch was a tiny bit less buttery than the other two, but overall, they were all pretty much the same. Now, let's get to the results. Here's all of the raw data that I recorded. Starting with the cook time, up took the least amount of time to cook, down folded took about 10 seconds longer, and down unfolded was the worst at 17 seconds longer. For the volume of popped popcorn, up produced the most volume, down folded was slightly less volume, and down unfolded was the worst by a large amount. And for unpopped kernels, up was the best with 39, down folded was the second best with two more, and down unfolded was the worst with 18 more. And when it came to look, smell, and taste, they were all the same except for down unfolded, which might have had less butter taste. Up had the best results in every test. Down folded was slightly worse, but remember that it flipped itself over to the correct side up while popping, so the popcorn and butter was on the susceptor most of the time. And upside down unfolded had the worst results in every test. It had the longest cooking time, the least volume, the most unpopped kernels, and maybe less butter taste. I would recommend popping it with this side up as specified for the best results. So that wraps this test up. The results were clear, and I ended up with 9 bags of popcorn, which was awesome. But just as I was going for the full bin, the Amazon truck started rolling up my driveway. I talked to the delivery person for a little bit when they handed me my package, and it was their first day of work. So on their first day of work, they rolled up to a dude pouring a giant bin of popcorn on his head. What a first day. It gets crazy at how to and review sometimes. You never know what's going to happen.